Hey there, Gemini, getting ready to get your reading. I hope you guys are doing really well and had a great weekend. Okay, this will be a general reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please only take what resonates as always and leave the rest. And if you're looking for more specific information, uh, check your other placements, especially your moon, which relates to your emotions and, of course, your Venus. If you're looking for love, okay? All right, guys. Let's see what's going on for my Gemini. Pretty. All right. Oh, wow. Beautiful, true love. Gorgeous. All right, what else, spirit? A lot of you guys have really been kind of on this spiritual journey. It looks like maybe a lot of growth going on here with the sacred temple. Maybe you've been looking within uh, quite a bit. Some of you guys could also be, I guess, traveling and visiting kind of sacred places, uh, sacred temples, cathedrals, things of that sort. Hmm. But then we have true love. So maybe true love is on your mind. Maybe you're in a brand new connection that is bringing you true love. Or maybe you have finally, with all of this inner work, come to terms with what it is that you're truly looking for and what you will not, you know, maybe you won't settle for less, right? This is what I want. I'm noticing in this particular image, there is a mirror image here as well, okay? Um, so if this is already a connection, it could be someone who you're very well mirroring. Okay, in the energy, uh, maybe some kind of a divine connection, obviously, some kind of soulmate, past life. It could also be a twin flame, mirroring going on. I do see planning, though, in action here. Maybe somebody is planning to take some kind of action. You may be also planning or taking action to move towards this. Okay, move, move towards, um, I don't know, finding even this true love in your life if you've not already, if this is not a current person that you're dealing with. Sorry, the card <laughs> literally flew across the room. We have the vast universe here. So again, some of you guys are really in manifestation mode, okay? You're understanding, I think, what your power is. You're understanding that by staying positive, by being very clear on what it is that you're wanting, uh, that you're able to manifest in, you know, the things in your life that you truly want, okay? And so you're making those shifts. You're putting out there, I feel, to the universe um, so that they can bring you, you know, what your heart's desires are. Regardless of if it's love here, we can see, obviously, true love. Um, or if it's, you know, it may also be success. It could be anything. By the way, happy birthday, Jim and I. Oh my God, I almost forgot. <laughs> happy birthday, guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful uh, birthday month for sure. Yeah, look at this. And then we have the honor and path here. Okay, again, that's about recognized. Maybe you're searching, you know, maybe you want to be recognized and maybe you want to have this card is all about, you can see there's a lot of, I don't know if you can see it actually, there's a lot of hands here really clapping. So this person's actually receiving some kind of accolades, they're receiving recognition for something. Um, you know, if you are not, maybe you're looking for that when, you know, within a partnership here, just to be recognized, to be acknowledged, you know what I'm saying? To receive uh, the love maybe that you're giving to another person, or maybe the love that you generally give to another person. You're just wanting that. If this has to do with some kind of business as well, and you're manifesting around business, and by the way, this could be both, okay? Um... Perhaps that's also something that you're wanting. You're wanting to be recognized. This person could very well be a star here, okay? You see that she is uh, walking across the stage and she's holding a big bouquet of flowers. Maybe you're already receiving a lot of recognition in your life. Maybe that's what this is telling us. Let me get some more information. I'm going to get from the Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle. All right, Spirit, what do we have for Gemini? Yeah, someday somewhere another time okay what else oh loss here okay so maybe you guys have been kind of leaving it up here to divine time in maybe you were in a situation here okay that didn't come together quite the way that you had expected perhaps there was a lot of loss here a lot of grief 
perhaps it was someone who you felt very strongly about, someone who you had a really deep soul connection with here with this true uh, with this true love, but also the mirror in here. It could have very well been a twin flame, soulmate connection. Look at that. Wow. Gemini, I'm praying you're out of that energy. It could have certainly left you feeling pretty broken hearted here, okay? But also, let me see. I'm going to get the other person's energy as well because this could be either you or them, and it could clearly be both if you guys are mirroring each other. There's certainly a recognition, I think, of this situation that this is certainly true love. A lot of chemistry, I feel like, in this situation. A lot of passion here. Certainly a lot of desire between the two of you. Yeah, so this could have certainly been someone who um, you had a family with, all right? Someone who you were very well established with or someone who you definitely desired that with. Maybe you saw it all with this person. Perhaps they saw it all with you, okay? But things just did not come together, all right? Somebody here didn't feel stable in this situation. They didn't feel very established in this situation either. So maybe somebody was not clear um, about what they wanted. All right, this could very well be the person as well that is doing planning over here also, okay, to take some kind of action here. But to be honest, what I'm feeling for a lot of you Geminis, it looks to me like you've actually put, the, that card is a card of farewell. Okay, maybe you're trying to get some kind of closure on a situation that just didn't come to be. It could have been a very passionate situation. You could have both desired each other quite a bit. But it just didn't come to be. Maybe you felt like it was based mostly on passion or maybe that's what that person wanted. Regardless, and I don't want to dip too much in the past here, but the cards obviously show it. Maybe you saw this person again as your true love and it just didn't work out. Now, another thing also, because you've been able to go within, is I feel you're very clear about what you're wanting. You're not going to waste a lot of time, okay, and stuff like this. I feel like you definitely are marching forward for many of you guys here. And like I said, you're really manifesting here and leaving it up to the universe to bring you the recognition. And I think the reward that you're looking for here, you may even be taking steps to do that in terms of your own manifestations. Hmm. All right, let me get some tarot. Okay, so Spirit, tell me what is coming towards my Gemini Sun. What or whom is coming towards my Gemini? Yeah, I feel like you definitely said goodbye to something, okay? You may have very well just walked away or at least released your energy. <clears throat> it got very congested suddenly. Um, that you definitely may not be talking just from what just happened within my own throat here. You may not be having a lot of communication with this person. Or maybe you guys just find it very difficult to communicate with one another. Maybe things are awkward. <clears throat> okay. Who is, what or whom is coming towards My Gemini's here. Honestly, I don't feel like you're the only one here that's feeling this loss, though. Somebody here may actually be feeling brokenhearted as well because you did finally end this. So especially if it was like a back and forth situation, perhaps they did not expect you to walk away. We have the Four of Pentacles here. All right, what or whom is coming towards my Gemini? That obviously indicates to me somebody who either holds very tight to their money um, or they're holding on to their emotions here. Have the Queen of Swords here as well, which of course is Libra. Um, that could be Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. So someone who is usually very, you know, got a good head on their shoulders, very headstrong, um, obviously likes the truth, likes to have fairness, likes to speak with clarity, will speak with a lot of clarity generally. This is a person that does not mind stepping into a leadership role, but, you know, a person that really takes charge and really, honestly, I think really thinks things through as well and usually speaks their mind. Who's coming towards my Gemini's spirit? Who's coming towards my Gemini's? Who or what? Okay. We got the page of rods here. All right. So maybe somebody wants to message you. Okay, the page of rods to me, I mean, that could indicate usually somebody, honestly, it's a page to a queen. So 
I have the Queen of Swords here, and then I have the page. I'm asking who's coming towards you here. So it could be, you know, someone who's younger or maybe some, someone who may act a bit younger than you. Um, not just chronologically, though. What I'm getting is someone who maybe is not as emotionally mature as you. But I'm feeling like that's more of someone who wanted, wants to reach out here and start some kind of dialogue. And I feel like it may happen maybe via via text or something. I just feel like it's some kind of message that is being sent. Look at this. Wow. This is actually a card of investing. But look at this guy. I mean, he looks just tortured. Okay, this person, wherever they were investing before... Uh, that created whatever happened here, that created this loss, that is what has actually kept them, or, or actually that's what's, um, that's why they're broken hearted, okay? They're broken hearted because maybe they thought more was going to come from this situation, but, but perhaps they were not putting in a lot of effort. And as you can tell right here in this particular card, they're just not happy uh, with the way that things turned out. Okay, maybe they wanted to invest more than this situation or in this situation, but they felt as though they, they could not. Why am I stumbling over my words? This is so weird. This just happened or just started. First, my throat clogs up and now I'm stumbling, which tells me you guys are definitely not communicating or you're not communicating well. All right. Somebody here may be very nervous to approach you to, especially in terms of romantic issues, because this person seems to be a very head over heart person, okay? They don't like to really show their cards. Might be keeping a, you know, just a little bit of armor on them, I feel like at this time, but do know that they're not doing so well, it looks like. What else, Spirit? Who or what is coming towards? So this has got to be somebody from the past, okay? Let's see, who or what is coming towards my Gemini? It might start slow is what I'm hearing, Gemini. So maybe it is it is going to be just a simple message just to kind of see how you're doing here. I think this person is certainly trying to, to I don't know if you moved away here or if they moved away. But regardless, I think they want it. They certainly want to move out of these rough waters with you. I don't think they like If there's some kind of actual disconnect or distance between you, I think they want to bridge that distance. They don't really like that. They may just reach out very simply because this is a page and say to you, hey, what's going on? How you been? Uh, just checking on you. You know, as we say in the South, how's your mama? <laughs> Just anything to try and make that entrance into your life, you know. Uh, we have the Ten of Rods here. Definitely somebody feeling very, very burdened by this situation the way it is. Um, or at least the way that it was left, okay. Yeah. Look. And I feel like this person is going to come through, you know, definitely with, um, you know, maybe very forthright in terms of bringing you some sense of truth, maybe perhaps bringing you some sense of clarity here. Uh, they may want to have a new start. This is such a small thing here, but often that is how things really start. Uh, maybe they do want to have some sense of clarity here about perhaps what took place with you guys, what could have led to this whole farewell that I'm seeing up here led to this goodbye or maybe just about how they're feeling i don't see a lot of feels here let me ask how does this person actually feel about my gemini how do they feel about gemini this person may be going through some transitions of their own is what i'm getting oh look at this <laughs> they feel like you're the empress okay so you may actually be because we did see the established card here you could very well be the mother of their children you could very well be you know the wife the ex-wife, something like that. If not, they definitely see you as the end-all be-all in terms of who they could be with, okay? Um, someone that's very nurturing and quite accomplished, okay? Someone who takes care of themselves and obviously everybody else that is around them. Someone who is very kind uh, as well. You may also be a mother here. We have the two of wands here as well. This person is knowing, I think, that they need to make a decision. Maybe they feel like you need to make some kind of decision. Or maybe they feel like you are not... Oh, that's a weird message. Maybe they feel like you're not as decisive about them as perhaps you were before. Maybe they feel like you made a decision. Maybe it was you that actually walked away from this person. It's the Eight of Pentacles here. So you may just be very focused on your work here. They may see you as someone who's really focused uh, heavily on your work, on your craft, on doing the best that you can. Obviously, on building your own stability here. 
Uh, you may know this person from work as well with that Eight of Pentacles. That could be where you guys, um, yeah, it could actually be where you guys met at or where you, maybe you work together currently. Perhaps that was also an issue here. Yeah. Look at this. What the... <laughs> Gemini. Look, I feel like you left somebody in a world of hurt, okay? I don't know what happened here, but it looks to me like somebody here is definitely sad and very much so missing you. Maybe they see you out having fun with your friends. Uh, this is about celebration. This is about, you know, just enjoying your life, coming together with friends, maybe family. Maybe they're watching you kind of do this, and perhaps it's, it's got them very much so in their head and certainly feeling left out of the equation. Look at this. Wow, we got the Empress and the Emperor. Definitely a divine couple here. I don't doubt it because, of course, we started off with the true love card here. All right, and we noted that these two were obviously mirroring. So certainly a soulmate or a twin flame connection. Certainly a divine couple on the board here. This person sees themselves, I feel like, on you know, as your emperor. Uh, they could also feel like you're very much in control right now of your life, um, control of your decisions. You're not going to be easily swayed, okay? An emperor is someone who is very much so standing in their own power, making their own decisions, and... Uh, yeah, running their kingdom, right? They don't they don't let people. So once you usually once an emperor makes a decision, the decision is made, right? But an emperor is also a very structured person and perhaps they're look I'm getting a lot of that energy. It's almost like I know you. You know, once you make a decision, it's done, okay? But I feel like this person feels like you are their empress over here or maybe you're their emperor. Either one. I'm asking how they feel about you. All right? So they understand that this connection goes above the normal connection is what I'm getting. Look at this. And then we have judgment. Okay. I have an angel here, obviously blowing the horn on this situation. Maybe that you did that to them. Maybe they feel like you judged them in some way, or you would judge them, uh, perhaps in some way, if they came forward, this person may also very well carry a lot of ego. I think I got that. in. I want to say Aquarius is reading as well. If you're dealing with an Aquarius here, yeah, and so maybe, you know, would, would Gemini judge me if I come in and I actually try to speak with them or if I, you know, if I send them a message, you know, would they actually answer me? That sort of thing. I feel like they feel like there's some kind of, notice that's like a clarion call there, right? Like, uh, perhaps they also feel like this is their judgment, honestly. If they treated you bad in any way, if they weren't good to you, maybe they feel like they're actually going through their own judgment. They're kind of being called to the table here by spirit for that. This person wants a renewal, though. I'm going to ask what the outcome here. Oh, wow. Mm, okay. What's the outcome here for my Gemini? I'm starting with the Five of Swords. This person might be feisty. You might be, be dealing with another um, air sign for sure. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let me see what I have on the board here, actually. Honest. Oh, I just noticed. I mean, I really have a lot of... Yeah, I have a lot of uh, swords on the table. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here could definitely be dealing with another air sign. I have Taurus and Libra here. I have uh, Sagittarius... Um, what else? Okay, I see Taurus over here. Yeah, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries I'm seeing here. Uh, also, Vir yeah, Virgo, Capricorn, so everything's on the board. <laughs> Literally everything. Look at this, though. Two more swords coming out. I'm asking what the outcome is. So you have the Five of Swords. You have the King of Swords. This person may be a bit combative in the in the communication. Holy smoke. Hang on one second, Gemini. Okay, so sorry about that. I actually had the, the deck literally just popped out of my hand. I'm using my small deck, so it probably looks big on the screen, but it's really tiny. <laughs> All right, so this person may be, honestly, they may also be trying to avoid some kind of confrontation as well, but I feel like this person, they don't mind having... They don't mind being confrontational. It may even be the way they speak sometimes. They do like to stay in control of situations, I feel. Again, we have a king of swords here and a queen of swords now. Okay, so maybe they're coming in very much so head over heart. Maybe they're having discussions with you, especially if y'all work together that is more work-related. Um, but if honestly, even if you're not, I think they're going to try and stick to what they feel are the facts. 
<laughs> okay. They want to be very precise, I think, in the way they talk. Again, you know, if you guys have had words in the past, I feel like they want to avoid uh, getting into that. That may have also been something that has stopped them from, um, if you guys have not been communicating, perhaps from communicating thus far. This is, this is a trip, actually. This person is not the most emotional, are they? Yeah. And then we have, yeah, this person wants to see, they want to have some kind of victory. I would watch them though, Gemini. You got to kind of watch that with the six of wands. That can also be, uh, the, you know, the, this is somebody who obviously is looking for a victory. They're looking for a success. Just make sure it's not kind of one of those things where they have to win at any cost. You have two cards here, the five of swords and the six of rods here that tell me it may be someone who just wants to win. It's almost like they want to get back on top. You know, maybe if you looked up to them before, maybe that's what it is, actually. Maybe, that maybe you don't look at them the same as you used to, and they want to have that again. They want to have, um, you know, you looking at them and kind of, I, I don't know if you looked up to them in some way here. You see this person's definitely getting a lot of attention here. They're, they're having some kind of victory here. They're really being acknowledged. I think they want that with you again. Look at this. Wow. Yeah. This person may be, feel very attached to you, very attached to your energy. They may also be kind of obsessively thinking uh, about this situation. And I got it. Why do I want to say in how to win? I hope that's not true. But, uh, okay, perhaps how to win or at least how to get a leg up perhaps in this situation. Okay. Um, they want to have some kind of communication hands down. But I would kind of watch this person too because they may have a few toxic traits or you could just be get, dealing with a Capricorn here. But the energy says that they could have a few uh, toxic traits as well. All right. where And what I mean by that is it doesn't have to be. They could have, you know, I guess they could have like, you know, alcoholism or maybe they like third parties or, you know, whatever. But I get more of a feeling super attached to you, feeling super attached to your energy, feeling like they can't detach. Maybe this person stays in their head almost like obsessively. But my, my thing is I'm feeling a lot of control. Like I'm going to stay in control of this situation. It's important for this person to win. I'm sorry. That's the way I'm getting this message. Okay. But they are trying to manifest another opportunity here. An opening of some sorts. I feel like where you guys can actually talk. Yeah, where you guys can actually talk in this situation. Maybe to even start up. Maybe just an opportunity. I don't know if you guys, if you live in the same area, maybe they're trying to bump into you. If you work together, maybe they're trying to, you know, do something that puts them in your office. You know, if you, whatever it is, whatever the story is, uh, they're definitely trying to manifest you. But this is also a card about willpower, just so you know. It's not just about manifestation. It's about willpower and really... Uh, drawing in all of the control and the willpower that you have, okay, to create the outcome that you want here, all right? But they may be coming here with something a little more solid than they were offering before, all right? Now, that is the Knight of Pentacles. It's definitely not a king, but we've seen them here as the king. We've also seen them here as the emperor. You know, maybe this person is wanting to come in uh, and offer you something a little bit more stable in this situation. Oh, I just got a very weird hit too. But you may also have another suitor here. You may all, you may, some of you guys may already be with this person. But you may also have somebody else that is coming in as well here. They could be, it could definitely be an earth sign. So it could be uh, a Virgo or a Capricorn or a Taurus. All right. Um, if you were coming up as the Empress here, obviously they could be a little bit younger than you. Definitely don't have to be. Um, I'm getting dark hair around this as well. So they could have dark hair. They could be from somewhere else. I, I don't know what that means. Maybe out of the state, out of the city, it could be out of the country, something along those lines um, that wants to offer you something perhaps more stable. Yeah, definitely had a second energy fly in here. So I'm thinking that would be the situation. Uh, if not, then this person could be coming, putting this out there to you. You know, wanting you to see that. I feel like they feel like you don't see them as stable either. I'm not sure what that's about. It could very well be because you know that or because you have, you know, maybe seen their behaviors, the way they act, something along those lines, and you just don't feel like they would be the most stable person for you. Maybe they want to show you 
through some kind of offer, uh, that they are more stable than that. All right, so if this person could speak to my Gemini, what would they want to say? Dag, this just flew out. I miss you more than you know. Wow. Okay, beautiful. What else, Spirit? My Gemini? Look, I've been having weird dreams about us. Yeah, I think if you guys are really mirroring each other, you're certainly probably connected in your dream state in the 5D. You may also be having dreams about this person. Maybe they're trying to figure out what this connection is, why it's so strong. That might be part of this devil energy, that obsessing, right, um, over you. It does say my karmic story is ending. So maybe for many of you guys, this person has been in another situation, um, perhaps in a marriage or in another connection of sorts, or maybe they had another job far away, something like that, that was keeping them, um, not necessarily stuck, but obviously they had to complete that energy, that contract before they could come forward. Look at this. I'm sending you telepathic messages. That's probably, honestly, that could be also part of this whole magician here too, right? Reining in all the willpower here to create what they want. All right, maybe they have figured out that you guys can speak in that way due to the dream state or just do maybe if you, you know, if you guys were, were ones that maybe, um, maybe you caught yourself finishing each other's sentences or, you know what I'm saying? Just saying things at the same time, just things like that. Um, maybe they have figured out in terms of this connection or shoot, maybe you told them, I don't know, but it does say here that they've been trying to send you some kind of telepathic messages. Cause so if they're on your, your mind quite a bit, that's why, but this person is definitely one that repressed their emotions from you. They repressed how they really felt, and they may still be doing that. Why? Because you hit them out of nowhere, okay? This person says, I want a future with you, though. Wow. Well, they are certainly hiding it. Look at this. Trust me. Trust me, I've actually been an issue in the past. Maybe they gave them a reason, or maybe you gave them a... I'm sorry. Maybe they gave you a reason not to trust them to begin with. Okay, but whatever they've been repressing here, and honestly, it's probably that they want more with you than what they were acting like. <laughs> wow. All right. Nothing like a beautiful, mature love, huh? <laughs> you know, I think whatever clarity you have gained here, obviously, maybe transmitting onto this person. Um, and helping them to grow as well, because you're not going to settle for any less. That's very clear here. You're really honoring yourself here. You know what you deserve here with the honoring path. And perhaps this person is now knowing, I better get with it, um, or my Gemini is going to walk away from me. All right, so I'm going to get some Moonology, and we're going to wrap it up. Spirit, anything for my Gemini, please? Mm-hmm. Okay, so the first one out says your commitment is being tested. So if you guys were committed to somebody or if you are committed to somebody and you've been going through the issues that we just discussed, Spirit is telling you they're acknowledging that it's being tested here, okay? So that you know, too, this is the test, okay? Are you going to walk away, really depending on what happened, right? Or are you going to endure... It does say to hold your vision, which is really interesting because we talked up here about planning. We talked about manifesting with the universe here. We talked about really knowing who you are and what you deserve. They're saying hold your vision. It does say emotions are running high here. I definitely believe that with that uh, devil card that we saw and the magician together. Okay. Uh, I think this person may even be feeling a little bit out of control because they are feeling so much emotion, as we saw, especially with, what do we see, with the loss card, with a broken hearted card, okay, definitely feeling a lot of emotions, but staying very controlled nonetheless, and hopefully trying to work their way through it before they try and come forward here. But it says prosperity lies ahead. Maybe that's something for you to know as well. We have new moon and Taurus on that one, which I think we just passed that season. Um, yeah, I think we just actually passed that season. Uh, but it does says prosperity does lie ahead for you. So whatever you're working on, Gemini, as well, uh, perhaps this is Spirit's way of just letting you know that it's going to be prosperous. One more. Okay. 
And it says the energy is gaining momentum. Okay, gorgeous. All right, so whatever it is that you're manifesting here, whatever it is that you've been focused on and you're trying to bring into being, it looks like that has definitely happened here. Uh, maybe there's been a long wait. Maybe it's been a short wait. Maybe you're just now being tested in your relationship, okay? But I see here that there's some planning that's taking place, okay? Some planning here to act on something, okay? So it looks to me like whatever that is, and obviously putting it out there to the universe to actually manifest. And you have two cards here that are really saying that hold your vision because the energy here is gaining momentum. So I feel like something is definitely coming to being now. If you've been waiting on someone, it looks like that is coming in. If you've been trying to manifest something new, it looks like that very well too could be coming in. I do feel you had a second energy here, so you're probably going to have to make some kind of choice, Gemini. But ultimately, I feel like you're going to end up with true love, okay? All right, Gemini, that's what I have for you guys. Hopefully, it will resonate with some of you. If it does, please don't forget to hit the like button. I will see you guys soon. Bye, Gemini.